Good morning, folks. Today we've got Deep Space News, a look back at what intensified the top two quakes of the last year, a run of climate reports, and some shenanigans being played as well. Let's get started at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last 24 hours on our star, the large southern coronal hole system, and its trans-equatorial extension facing Earth. The sunspots are decaying, haven't done anything anyway. This filament release is about the only eruptive action yesterday. The solar wind physical characteristics are steady, but its magnetism, phi angle in blue, shifted yesterday, bringing the next electric field sector in the plasma sheet driving up the KP index on the solar wind magnetic reversal alone. When the stream from the actual coronal hole arrives tonight or tomorrow, it will almost certainly bump geomagnetic conditions higher, NOAA forecasting a good chance for geomagnetic storms. So folks, this is the north and south magnetic flux from the SDO solar satellite, pulled by 9 Risi and turned into a chart. The most significant solar magnetic spike occurred at the start of September 2017, right as a major earthquake, many of you will remember, an 8.2, struck Mexico. This is the same magnetic power we studied and published about with NASA's Dr. Uyen and statistics professor Dr. Holloman from Ohio State. The north, then south, go on stretches of relevance. Right now it's the north. And not only did the largest solar magnetic spike on the north last year come during the biggest quake, but again, on the north, the second largest magnetic spike of the year was back in late January when the second largest quake of the last 12 months took place a 7.9 in Papua New Guinea. That's the two top rumbles hitting the model. Up next, we're zooming in on Abel 1758. This Hubble image is optical only, and they say it is actually colliding masses here. Now, before going to Chandra, let's get some perspective because the image they use is tilted by comparison. Let's number the structures. Looks like just a cluster in visible light, but both the radio emission and X-ray emissions begin to paint that colliding story, the one we keep telling of the powerfully energetic mass of the universe that we don't see with our eyes. Folks, this one might trump both Yale's cold climate bomb article and Princeton's colder future projections due to cloud science article. This modeling demonstrates there's almost no chance at all of the Earth warming up 4 or 5 degrees by the end of the century, which slashes the UN's worst fears about the climate. And speaking of the climate, NASA spent all day describing how it was the second hottest year on record. They should really consult with NOAA before doing things like that, because NOAA has us at third with a 0.18 degree drop from last year. And while NASA shows a totally hot planet with some Antarctic blue for its cold, NOAA ignores the far south and identifies a different cold region up north amidst a mostly above average map. Except within the same report, NOAA posts this chart as being the real temperature data from the last year. So when you see an almost all red map on the internet, please remember this is what our own government said it really looked like in their report. The press releases, well that's another story. Like to mention, Wednesday there was a rare day with snow on ground in all 50 states, including Florida and Hawaii. After the western Gulf states crushed record cold marks that day, the record cold shifted east towards Georgia and Florida, triggering a frigid weather phenomenon called Arctic Sea Smoke. Just it's off the coast of Florida. Not only have we seen cold records fall this week on the heels of the big winter events of the last two weeks, but some areas took record snow as well, and there's another storm coming this weekend to the west. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support, and we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.15 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.